I'm in the middle of cleaning out my quail hutch. Um, this is not the cage you're normally in, this little metal cage. That's just their cleaning cage or transport cage. But since I'm in the middle of cleaning, this is a perfect time to talk about if you have male quail or female quail. And that's important if you want to breed them or if you want to keep the hen for eggs and if you want to eat the males, you want to be able to identify them. So I know I have at least one male and I'll tell you why. The first way to know that you have males, in the morning they will actually crow. Now I hate to even say it's a crow. I don't know if that's what they're officially called, a quail's crow. Uh, it's not like a rooster crow. Um, it's much more melodic, almost like a loud pigeon. Something like that. Maybe one of, the, of these days I will get it on film. Um, it's definitely early in the morning is when you hear it. So I know I have at least one rooster. I don't know what my dogs are doing, barking at something over there. Um, so I know I have at least one rooster. So that is a way to tell that you definitely have males is listen in the morning when they're adults. Now the second way, at least for the type of quail I have, these are called uh, Japanese quail, or I guess they're also called a Katornix quail. Um, there's lots of different colors of quails. These are definitely the most common. But the males have a buff chest. Um, and the females have a speckled chest. So that is a really easy way to tell. So we're gonna go ahead and check out some of our quails and see if we have a male in the batch. I know we have at least one because I've heard them crow. So here is a female. Um, you can tell that she has speckled breasts here. Um, so that is an easy way to tell her apart from the males. I think I only have actually maybe one male. Um, as soon as I show you the male, you'll see that their plumage is very different. So this is a female with a speckled breast. And let me show you another female because I have mainly females. Okay, here's another female with the speckled breast here. Now I'm gonna show you the male and you will definitely see that there's a big difference. This guy is a male. See the, his buff, non-speckled breast? So this is a way to identify if you have a male or not. That is good news for us because we do plan on trying to incubate some of these this um, spring and maybe sell them, maybe give them away. Um, there is another way to tell if you have a male or not. I learned this recently from a video by Brimwood Farms. Males make something called mating foam right above their vent. Uh, they have an engorged area closer to their tail side, not their body side, past the vent. You can squeeze that and they let out this mating foam. Um, it looks like foam, it's really weird. Um, that's another way to tell if you have a male or not and I've never tried that until about two seconds ago and uh, it actually works. It's kind of gross and um, I don't have my tripod to do that right now so maybe I'll do that another time but you can actually squeeze right past the vent and mating foam will come out uh check out brimwood farms video he already has like thirty thousand views on it which is pretty decent for a video about quail um so yeah that's an easy way to tell though is the color of the breast now i do have another quail um that is not the japanese quail or the katornix quail um, is this guy right here. Um, 
this quail, I'm not even sure what breed this one is. It just came in our batch. Um, I need to look it up. I haven't. Um, we call her Snow White, but she may actually be a boy. I'm going to check to see if they have the gland that makes the mating foam. If this quail does, then I have another male here. Um, and again, we are planning to breed these, so this is kind of a cool coloration. Had to put him down, her down maybe. Um, so this is just a different um, plumage for quails. They come in tons of different plumages if you're interested past just, you know, the standard type, which is mainly what I have. But quail are really easy to raise. You don't need a lot of space. You could do this in your backyard. Um, you don't need a lot of space. And I'm actually looking, as I'm doing this video, because you never know what's gonna happen, um, black rat snake is over by the chicken coop. So we're gonna have to check it out. Amy, come see Big Mama. Uh, Big Mama, the black rat snake. I was planning on making a video about male and female quail, and, um, Big Mama's out. Um, I'm at least five feet tall, and this snake is not even stretched out completely. This is our barn snake that um, has done a pretty good job of taking care of our mice problem. We don't have any mice because of this girl. Um, but she's now trying to get in the chicken coop. She has taken an egg or two over the years, which we don't mind too much, but uh, she is looking gigantic. I mean, this is crazy. She is a beautiful snake, though.